Welcome friends. In this first module, we will try to develop an understanding about few of the fundamental concepts of projects. We all have been working on projects for long, so I hope we, will be, you, we all would be aware of these things. The idea about this module is to have a shared understanding so that we revisit the concepts and are on the same platform. So as we move forward to the to deeper into the various modules, we uh, have the same terminology to communicate with this thing. In this module, which as you have seen the title called as Project Fundamentals, we will try to develop a shared understanding of few of the concepts like what a project is, what is a project cycle looks like. Also, we will try to see there are few tools that have been used to arrive at better projects, to develop projects which are efficient. Uh, coming from the domain of result based management, we will try to appreciate these tools and also see one of a very critical tool that shapes monitoring and evaluation which is the logic model or the result chain. So, to start off, uh, let us start with the first, the very first question. What is a project? Now, over a period of time we all have been working on projects and we know that there are way, the project comes in various shapes and size. Let us think of all those words that comes to our mind when we think of, think of a project. Let us say objectives or some people think you may be thinking of something like goals. Okay. Resources, budgets, more time. Let us talk about strategies. There could be many words that would come to your mind. But let us look at these words and try to see what, what actually is a project is. Now, the first question, let me ask you the first question. What we actually do in a project, day in, day out? Just try to, re, try to think of a day or in while you are working on a project, what it looks like. You are meeting someone, you are doing a training, you are trying to construct something, you are trying to meet somebody. What we try to do in day in day out can be best termed as activities. So, what the do component of a project essentially is the activity. So, what we do in a project is activity. But these activity is towards something that we activities are not the end by itself. We are doing these activities so that we achieve something by the end of a project. Okay. Now, what is that we are trying to achieve? Is it? Okay. Here we see two words which we all know we try to achieve during the projects, goals and objectives. Yes. We may say that these are the goals or the objectives that we try to achieve in a project. But my question is, is it the objectives or is it the goal that we are trying to achieve in a project? Okay, let us unpack these two words and then try to see what whether it is the goal or the objectives are the same things or different things. Okay. Now, what is an objective and what is a goal? We, if we have to simply define what is a goal, something which always we say that this is a long term thing that we try to wanted to achieve sometime. Okay. And always we achieve, we associate objective with something short term. Okay. So, it is something that we try to achieve with it in a longer term where this is something that we try to achieve in a short term. Okay. Now, any other thing that we like to say a difference between an objective in this? Yes. We always say the goals are broad while the objectives are specific. Decreasing the dropout rate of adolescent girls in a school is a specific. 
while something like women's empowerment is very broad in a very long term. So, is it the objective or is it the goal that we are trying to achieve? Of course, we are talking about short duration. So, it is not the goal, but it is the objective, the short term specific thing that we are trying to achieve in a project. Okay. So, now we are clear about what is the difference between objectives. So, yes, there would be a contribution of a project towards the goal, but it is only a contribution. What we try to achieve is the short term specific thing, which is the objective. So, these activities what we say, uh, which we are executing in a project is towards achievement of an objective. Now, one, one question you may ask, is it objective or is it objectives? Usually, we find in projects that there are many objectives. A project may have three, may sometimes two, three, sometimes three, sometimes five, sometimes ten objectives. So, is there a difference between when we say there is an objective and there is objectives? Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. As we say objectives, is it still objective? Or let me revisit the the usual acronym that we use for objectives that objective should be smart. We all know what is smart. It has to be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time bound. Now, if these are the characteristics and objectives, so as I say objectives, is it still specific? No. When I am talking about two objectives, the specificity is lost. So, if the word itself etymologically objective means there can be only one objective. As we say the objectives are lost, objectives are more than one, the objectivity is lost, the specificity is lost. Therefore, a good well designed project, a good project would only have one objective or a let us call it a specific objective. So, to say that we are executing these activities to achieve a specific objective. Now, when we are executing these activities, we use resources. All these are executed with various resources and to say what are the resources? Money, people, the financial resources, the human resources and let us say things like technology, infrastructure, etcetera. So, to say financial, human and physical resources. You are executing these activities towards a specific objective using financial, human or physical resources. Now, here again in a project, do we have access to unlimited resources? No these resources are also specific. There is a definite amount of money or a definite set of human resources and a deficit of infrastructure or physical resources that are allocated to a project and these activities have to be executed with all these available resources. So, we have the resources as also as specifics. Now, and we all know every project has a definite start and a definite end. So, to say there is a specific time in which we have to execute this project. 
set of activities towards a specific objective with specific resources within a specific time. Now, can we use this four words to develop our own definition of a project? Well, I will try to write mine. A project is nothing but a set of activities implemented with specific resources within a specific time towards achievement of a specific objective. You can write your own definition, you can develop. But yes, there are four things which define a project, a set of activities, specificity of resources, specific time and a single objective to be achieved. That in nutshell is a project. But one question would come, why projects? There are other ways of doing things. We have been doing things without this project also. But why projects? Now, the idea of a project is inherent when it comes, you look at the word that is resource. We know what is a resource. The economists define it as anything that has got a use value is a resource. Resource and there are two things that comes with a resource. One is it is scarce. All resources are scarce. And two is all resources have alternate uses. They are not in abundance, they are scarce and they are also if you are using a few resources in one position, you are taking them away from another position. So, they are alternate uses. Can these resources be put to the best use? Rather than addressing the whole large problem, can we break down the larger problem into a very small const constituent problem and address one at a time? That is where the project, project approach comes from. It is not about achieving the maximum, it is about optimizing. It is about trying to deliver what is the best with the possible resources, not trying to think that we will deliver the best in thinking of what is the maximum resources, but with what is the best with this available resources. So, it is an optimizing argument and second is putting the resources to best use, that is the efficiency argument. Projects makes us deliver in an efficient manner as well as deliver in optimization manner so that with the given resources, we can deliver whatever is best possible, not the maximum possible.